Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek. Subscribe, like, share. It's always appreciated. Today we're looking at the Aware air quality sensor. It just doesn't do it justice to call this a sensor. This is really a work of art. This is definitely one of the most capable air quality sensors that I've looked at. It's got temperature, humidity, CO2, volatile organic compounds, a dust, as well as a digital display. And it currently works with If This Then That, with IFT, uh, Amazon Madam A, and works with Nest. So missing, of course, from here is our beloved HomeKit, as well as Google Assistant. I'm hoping that the recently released iOS 11.3 software authentication will allow Aware to extend support for HomeKit, but uh, that'll only happen if we all ask them. So. Hopefully, you'll do that after this video. Let's take a look. So here's the AWARE packaging. Know what's in the air you breathe. It uh, it says what's in the box, right? Um, packaging is clear. Does dust, chemicals, VOCs, CO2, temperature, and humidity. And of course, on the back here, it's really clear about exactly how it's going to connect and what it's going to to do. So looking down there at the bottom of the box, we can see it works with Madam A, Ift, and um, of course with Nest. So opening the box up here, it's the packaging is pretty tight. A um, little bit of issues getting this out. But once we get it out here, we get into the aware unit itself, which is really beautiful. It's got this walnut finish on it. So this isn't something that you're going to hide away. It really is intended for this to become kind of a display piece that really just incorporates itself and just embeds itself as part of your life. So make sure to give enough air between your um, device, between your uh, wear and any object that may block the flow. So they've got some nice instructions here as far as placement, which is going to be important with this. You can't just stick this in the corner with no airflow and expect it to do its job. You got to make sure it's um, in, uh, in placed somewhere in your room where you're going to have the ability to really see um, the air go through it. So quickly just looking through what's left in the box. There, of course, is the uh, the power cables. Nothing in the bottom of the box. Um, this is going to be a battery or not a battery operated unit. You're going to have to always have this plugged in. And the instructions are as simple as download, follow the application, and go. It uh, can't really be much simpler than that. Let's take a look. So here we are in the Aware app. It's uh, been downloaded here. We can log in with Facebook, Google. You can sign up with your own email. So let's do that now. So once you've done that, you'll get a confirmation email. So this is really a typical account setup. And then we'll go straight into setting up the account. So Aware's goal really seems to be to be making us more aware uh -huh, of what's in the air around us and the environment, what we're breathing every day. So they're going to need a little bit of information around us, um, name, gender. You can skip this if you want, put in your birth date. And then we're going to get to the actual setup process. So we, we're going to tap that plus button right there. And then we're going to um, start actually setting this up. We're going to go find aware and it's going to ask us what's the Bluetooth pairing request. So on the aware in the top right there, you can actually see I have a pairing code of 7710 that this actually makes it really easy. The pairing is right there, like right in the LED screen, which is nice. I can then search the networks, click on that, and we're going to then push our wireless settings over to the aware box. This isn't going to be Bluetooth. Bluetooth is only for the setup. So we'll do that now. Now that that's done, they'll ask us some additional things like location and my our, our preferences because this box isn't necessarily going to always be in one location, right? Um, as far as where you put it in your house. So they're going to do the location of where we're at and we can use the, the iOS location services for that. So it knows that I'm in uh, close enough, Montreal. Um, and then we can, is this going in the house? Is this going in an office? And then which one of, of these kinds of rooms um, is it most like where you're going to be putting this, what's your intention? Because they have different profiles set up. They have um, profiles for general, for allergy, sleep, productivity, you know, having a baby. And all of these profiles require something a little bit different. For instance, productivity, uh, you really want your CO2 down in that room, right? Um, you know, allergies, of course, has a different profile. So it really, really is intended to help you figure out your unique requirements of your space. So if we look here, you can kind of see this mapping up. We've got some, a couple of LEDs starting to pop up. Um, for the temperature, we're going to see start to see more of these kick in. So the humidity kicks in, CO2. So you can see the CO the, the, the humidity just kicked in. So it's 45% humidity in this room. Um, and then as we go through, we should start to see these these really start to pop up. And you can see what's displayed. 
So what's really nice about the aware is you don't have to be in your app. You can just take a quick glance across the room and you can get an immediate visual feedback exactly what your room, what your characteristics are like, right? Which I think is, it's pretty powerful, right? You've got um, right now the scale, scale um, the aware score is 69. And so what that means is it's fair. And this is a scale of zero to a hundred where a hundred is means your air is pristine and perfect mountain, clean, fresh, whatever you want to call it. Right. Um, so going into the app, what's kind of nice here is it's not just, Hey, uh, I've got a high VOC content. No, it's actually saying, you know, you might want to use some areca palms in there, which are plants that NASA has studied and found that these will actually help to remove volatile organic compounds from the air around you, right? If there was a, a CO2 warning, maybe it would be put in some um, some snake plants, mother-in-law's tongue, because those will help to produce more oxygen, right? So it really gives you a lot of, of different um of suggestions that you can do to actually improve your space based on the settings. So, of course, we can go in, we can adjust our LED brightness. So this can go in a bedroom if you want. Um, one thing I did notice here for the sleep report, and I haven't gotten a sleep report yet, is that the hours is really, it's in hour blocks. So if I want to wake up at 6.30 or 6.15, I can't do that in this app. So I think they still have to do a bit of work on the application. It's not 100% there yet, um, which is, you know, it's, it is what it is, right? Um, so this is not a HomeKit compatible device. As I said earlier, it works with Nest. It works with the Amazon Echo ecosystem with Madam A. It works with If This Then That. So maybe we could connect this through If This Then That to do some of the HomeKit stuff a little bit, potentially. Um, I would love to be able to show you that, but unfortunately, Aware as a company has not released the Madam A skill into Canada yet. So I don't even have access to it, believe it or not. Um, so, you know, it kind of is what it is. Again, what I really, I do really enjoy this device so far. Um, the visual, the visual the feedback that I get immediately, right? That's, that's great. The fact that I can just look across the room, that it's got dust, it's got chemicals. Um, it's teaching me things about my environment that I really didn't think about before. I ended up turning on speakers loud and had my aware right in front of it. And the simple act of the speakers turning on and pushing dust out of the speakers, they hadn't been that loud in a while, apparently, um, really caused the dust measurement to go up. So things that we we maybe, you know, you, you don't think about every day, maybe I should be vacuuming my speakers. I don't know. Um, that's really up to you. I don't know that I would go that far to, to adjust my habits that much, but making us aware, no pun intended, of our environment is really kind of, really something that I think is is better for everybody. So to wrap this up, the Aware device is, it's beautiful. It, it's a really nice looking device that they've obviously thought about the craftsmanship, the way they want to communicate the information around the environment. That's really nice. I wish it was um, HomeKit support. I wish the uh, Madam A support was released in Canada. There's some things that uh, just need to be a little bit improved on this as far as the user experience, but the hardware itself seems to be really, really good. What do you guys think? Is it is it something you'd include in your own setup? Let me know in the comments below. If you got any questions, please let me know as well. I would be happy to answer those. Likes, subscribes, always appreciated. And if you want to learn to make your house a little bit smarter with Apple HomeKit, please check in the video notes below. There will be a coupon code in there. Thanks.